Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss the attitude number three according to Pythagorean numerology. So to do a little recap, the attitude number is um, calculated through your birth date and your birth month. So today with the number three, this is represented by, of course, Jupiter. Jupiter is a planet of good fortune, wealth, makes people famous, and it eventually becomes somebody who is very well liked and highly regarded as being sociable and possibly famous. So when you have an attitude number of three in general, you just attract people um, of any walk of life. Um, whether you're a man or a woman, you're gonna have a very attractive personality. Three, five, and six, I find to be very, very attractive numbers when it comes to social settings. So when you have this attitude number, uh, you naturally have the inclinations of being able to build rapport with people quite quickly. Uh, doing sales and marketing will come to you kind of naturally just because for some reason or another, people are just gonna like you for your character, whether it's your authenticity or your charisma or your charm. And these things are just gonna to come to you. Um, if you want to get into the music creative realms, it'll be great for you as well. The attitude number of three definitely does attract that. And most of all, like I said in the first part of the video, it attracts that wealth and money that all of us are looking for. So when you have it with different life paths, of course, it does bring forth different results. However, it still is very, very good nonetheless. When you have it with like a life path one, for instance, you're going to have somebody who's already a leader, already quite domineering, somebody who has innovative skills, somebody who wants to take a leadership role in life. With the three there, it's going to make you somebody who people are naturally going to want to listen to even more. They're going to find you to be that charismatic leader that they're going to be able to listen to and trust. When it comes to number two, number two is a little more introverted. Um, even with the 11s, mass number 11s and number twos, you guys are both uh, somewhat introverted at the start of life and maybe you'll gain confidence throughout your life and begin to be able to get better with social settings. But for the most part, the lunar energy of the moon, which constitutes for the number two, is generally just somebody who just likes to receive more than give out, especially when it comes to social, like talking and so forth. But when you have that attitude number of three, it'll make it easier for you to build that rapport with people, easier for you to actually get along with others. The difference between the two and the three, the two is naturally able to harmonize when it's an attitude number, whereas the three is able to actually harmonize, adapt, and take over. It, it, it definitely gives you that larger than life persona. Whether or not you see it in yourself or not, you have it. It's there as like similar to what we call an aura. So it's really, really great to have. Um, for life path threes, obviously it's gonna be very symmetrical. You're gonna naturally subconsciously be somebody who's very social, uh, very adaptable, different sorts of people in different settings. And that attitude number three is just gonna amplify that, make you an even better person. For the number four, business settings, it's great. Like I said, for life path fours, if you have an attitude number three, my personal recommendation, look into sales, marketing, advertising. Those three gonna make you a lot of money. Life Path Fives, you guys like to travel a lot. You guys are also very good at sales yourselves just when it comes to being a Life Path Five, just very high energy. The three is gonna give you that larger than life aura that's gonna make you, um, I would say, do very well in artistic ventures. So things like music, writing, all of those things will come to you quite naturally and you'll be able to actually attract those things a lot easier. For life path six, six and three are considered opposition according to different uh, depictions of numerology. However, when you have life path six in correspondence with light, um, the attitude number of three, you're gonna in turn have a very, very um, harmonizing energy, but yet very confident. The three is a number of confidence because Jupiter actually shines more rays back on the sun than the sun shines on it. And because of that, you seem larger than life, as I say with all the other depictions. You come across as somebody who has your stuff under control. You're able to be very charismatic and charming when you need to be. And it's going to get you in the right networks. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Allergies out here. As for life path number seven, we have seven, which is a very introverted number as is. Then you get the attitude number of three, which is very, very more so on the side of, like, I would say... You have introvert versus extrovert. So you're gonna have somebody who is a seven that's gonna be very spiritual, into mysticism, philosophy. But that three, that adds to number, <clears throat> is actually gonna bring forth that more inviting energy. That energy that's gonna make you not seem too antisocial, but still invite more people to your um, just general vicinity. For life path eights, it's very, very similar to the aspects of the one, where life path eights are very domineering. Uh, they like to be in leadership roles. <clears throat> Sorry guys, they want that executive sort of position. So with the attitude number of three there, it's gonna just give you that extra push. I have the attitude number of three and I'm a life path eight and I find that it gives me that extra push. 
um, that extra sort of, I guess, leeway, that bridge in order to get along with others a lot easier in comparison to just having all Saturnine energy. For nine, they work in a very, very good triune. Obviously, the nine, six, and three are the heavenly triad. So when you have nine and three put together like that in that sort of correspondence, you get somebody who is very ideological but can communicate it very well. So I'd recommend anything from the charitable fields to um, anything from medical and law as well for you guys. Even political will be um, done very well as, as well, but you just make sure that you do have a very clear ideology, very clear purpose for what you wanna do in politics and you'll get ahead. In conclusion, guys, the three is just a great number all around. It gives you that general attraction. It gives you that creativity. And it naturally is just going to put you in situations where you end up becoming famous, even if you don't necessarily want to. You'll be famous in your own right, whether it be in your community, uh, whether it be just um, worldwide on center stage. But you will have that inviting energy and you will, whether you realize it or not, be able to attract a lot of different sorts of people. So use it to your own will, figure out what your purpose is, and then you can use the three as a tool, whether it just be using you and it's just there and you don't understand what's happening. All right, so that should conclude the video for attitude number of three. If you guys do have any questions whatsoever, just please let me know in the comments. Aside from that, guys, please like, subscribe. Um, that's it for today, guys. Peace.